Josh, would you had a chance to look at Bot Tech at all? Yes. And what are your impressions? Um, they're a solid team. They've got a solid offense and they've got weapons. They've got some of the bigger running backs and, um, you know, those guys enjoy contact and they don't go down easily. Um, you know, they, they run a lot of stuff that you, you see from spread offenses, but they build it different ways. They do the shifting and the motioning. So that's going to be one thing we have to recognize is what formation they're trying to build when they line up. Um, and then we just got to be able to match up with their weapons. And uh, as we get the game plan, we'll work on that. Now, is it with most teams, is it when you lose a prominent player, do you think it takes a little while to get over that shock? Uh, I mean, you've only had one game, I realize. But I mean, do you think that each game that passes, you're a little bit more? Uh, yeah, I think you, you get a little bit behind. You get it behind you a little bit more. Yeah, and you start to gel better as a team, and you know what to expect a little bit more. I think. Uh, one of the traits of a better team is that one guy goes down and the next man up, you're really confident in him and you can just keep going in stride. So that's what we're trying to do right now. Um, talk about first home game and it's at night. Just Is there any extra added juice because of uh, that atmosphere you're going to be? Yeah, there's always added juice at night. and uh, If you've never been in the stadium at night, some of the young guys and then teams rolling into town, it's just a uh, crazy experience. They added more seats in the stadium, so I'm really excited about that. And we got kind of a tunnel to run out of now when we're coming out of the locker room, so that'll be fun. But, uh, you know, you just get out there and you see all the fireworks going off and everybody's hyped up. You got to go out there and play assignment football still. Tell me, did you guys say anything as a unit, as a defensive unit, after the offense went forward on, on fourth and short? Didn't get it. It's 14 to 13. I think that's the score of the game, 14 mm -hmm. to 13. And you guys. Uh, I think had a three and out right after that. Just how important that series was. Um, as a defense, that's the kind of stuff we really enjoy. And, uh, you know, you get on some teams and guys will be like, man, I don't know why coach went for it on fourth and whatever. But our mentality is, man, I hope coach goes for it on fourth and whatever, because if he doesn't get it, we'll go out there and, you know, we'll play really good defense. And if he does, I know the offense is about to score off of that. Uh, so it's just one of those things where, our mentality is we're going to go with whatever the offense does, and we're just going to play hard defense every that, series. That was a key point in, in that game yeah. last week. Yeah, uh, you could say that, but I think every possession is key against those guys. For, uh, first games are always kind of a mystery, and you never know where you're at. And playing Navy adds to the act that's such a unique style of both offense and defense. Where do you think you guys are in your development? Are you where you want to be, where you should be? Um, I mean, you can almost say you're never where you want to be, and you just got to keep setting the bar higher. But I think that our defense has developed pretty well. Um, you know, the first game is always a little bit sloppy in terms of, um, you know, tackling and getting lined up and getting the rotation down and everything. But I think we still did a pretty good job of that. We've had, uh, you know, we've got some improvements to make there. Um, but we just got to keep going. And, and I think the one thing that we're doing better right now than we've done in the past is uh, learning the game plan really well and being able to recognize formations and personnel groupings and then being able to take that and play fast.